Hey, my name is Matthew Patrick. I'm Clutchmeister and I'm one half of the reigning world champions for the SRE Live. And the, I'm the other half, not the better half, unfortunately, but even so, still here. Um, uh, we play DC Universe. We've come down to SRE Live to uh, compete, uh, courtesy of Pro Seabun. Um, the favourite bit of SOE Live has got to be uh, just the whole setup here. Uh, they've got such an amazing uh, amount of equipment, the broadcasting, so professional. Um, well, I mean, this location itself is Vegas, there's so much to do. Um, the, whole, the whole experience has been fantastic, so I can't put, put it onto any one thing. What about you? Oh, what did I think of SRE Live? Well, I think it's been absolutely fantastic. I've, I've loved the opportunity to come compete in front of a, an exceptionally large crowd, much larger than I was expecting. There's amazing machines here. I had no idea that they were going to be sponsored by Alienware and Razer, among others. I really enjoyed playing on the machines here and not even talking about SRE Live, just the hotel itself, the whole trip. It's just been absolutely fantastic. Um, I thought of the US competition, there was a few people that I wasn't too sure of. Um, I wanted to make sure that you know, if the PlayStation players were coming along, we've got to absolutely make sure we beat them. Uh, we're quite friendly with the, the two finalists, the two winners of SOE Live. Um, and once we got playing with them, it was nerve wracking to start with, but once we got our flow going, uh, we got the win that we were, well, expecting. Uh, the competition was actually to a very, very high standard. Uh, it's been a very long time since we've been incredibly challenged in a 2v2. And Slob and Buzzworthy, the two winners, the US champions, they are probably the best 2v2 team that we have ever come up against. And it was, it was such a fun experience to be able to have such a, a challenging game. And to be able to do it in front of this crowd, well, it just made it even better. Uh, for me, um, any changes I'd like in uh, Legends PvP would be things like spawn times. Uh, I don't like how they're not exactly random. Uh, I'd like them to be set, either whether it could be controlled by the player or set sort of uh, five seconds and, and that's it. You know how long you've got it's because uh, on things like capturing the node, um, if you're standing on the point and there's somebody with a 10 second, it's not based on the kills and uh, deaths, it's just simply a case of being able to just rack up points that way, which takes a bit of the, the skill element out of it. Um, so yeah, if we could have like a set amount of time for respawn, I think that would make the game just that bit better. What about you? Well, well, where do I start? There's quite a few things I'd like to see added into Legends. One of them is I would like for them to put out patches focused solely on balancing legends a lot more often. I mean, it's been at least a year since the last major legends patch came out. So obviously with issues with certain characters, the balance has been up in the air for a while. But with the more, with a more constant patching on Legends, it would help the the esports side of it particularly because it will help it be more balanced. You'll get less people complaining, and more people will actually get into Legends to play it more often. On top of that, as DK was saying, the, the respawn times really should be fixed because the amount of difference from having an instant respawn compared to having to wait 10 seconds is a very long time. If you think if somebody's holding a point for 10 seconds, that's going to be 70 points that they get extra that compared to somebody who has an instant respawn where you're not going to get those extra 70 points. And if that happens three, four times in a row, you've already lost two, 300 points. And the problem with that is it introduces more luck into the game. If you were to remove that, then obviously skill would come into it much more and it would remove that small element of luck. Um, next step for Anime Esports, uh, hopefully through you know uh, this this whole tournament, uh, we build on the the team that we already have. Uh, also get into the PVE side of the uh, the PVE side of the game because at the moment we've been completely focused on Legends. Um, but we'd also like to raise the profile of DC Universe. Um, other teammates within Anime Esports don't really know too much about it you know we tell them about it that sort of thing and you know here's a link watch this and and so on so it would be great to be up there with the the other games that are currently popular at the moment so yeah that would be a, a good goal to reach as dk was saying with with the the pro tournament in june and then obviously with sre live coming up 
our attention has been 100% legends at the moment. Now that this is going to be put behind us, we're going to focus a lot more on hopefully getting more into the PVE as well as helping in any way we can to raise the profile of DC Universe because the devs have only recently started trying to push the esports side of the game since the first paid for tournament with the first, with the prize money. So with this tournament with the first like with a large cash prize it, it will provide more incentive for more people to play it. So if we can get the word out there and let people know that this is a, a very, very good title for esports, then it will attract more people coming in and hopefully more big professional names, which in turn should not only improve the competitive side of the game, but it could also raise the profile and also potentially even increase the price part even further, which would be absolutely excellent. But I'm sorry to disappoint anybody who might think I'm a hacker. I don't have my bag of tricks on me at the moment that everybody seems to think that I have. However, we've come here, we've beaten the US champions, and we've proven that we're legit. So, if anybody out there still thinks we're hackers, I've got three words for you. Deal with it. Deal with it. <laughs>